when we're dealing with uh, that, you know, it's not obviously they're not biting me. Mm-mm. You know, like that's not a it's not a huge big deal. But they're impulsive mm-hmm. in the way that they go about doing it. So the whole pulling your hand away when you're a child and they're just coming to jump on you and everything, you pull your hand away. What they're trying to do is they're trying to interact with you. And then whenever they come at you and you run away, then you become a squirrel. And that's very exciting. And that's not the thing we want to do. However, when they know I have a little, little I have a little bit of, When they know I have a little bit of hot dog and they're trying to get something out of my hand and I make it go farther away, that is a consequence to them. That's not, oh, it's become fun now. Mm-hmm. And if I catch it, there's a hot dog in it for me. They don't, they can't think that far ahead. Yeah. You know, any dogs. It's not just, not just the hound types, but nicely. And so what we do is whenever they go and they, they come towards it, what I want them to do is I want them to let me bring it to them. And so that's how we break that, that lunging type of type of situation and it's just a matter of rinse and repeat you know we just do a bunch of that so when we want to use the collar to institute a recall command i'm going to go ahead and vibrate her and then we're going to go over to the thing good girl nice that was that was actually her you know (laughs) should i take her off the chain link or is she okay right now um Let's, let's hold off for a second. Yeah. Because we're, we, we're, we're doing this because we want to be able to institute the barrier first. But before we do that, it would probably we be just learn. as well to make sure that she understands that vibrate means come to yep, the house. Yep, absolutely. And now, it, this will be a continuous process. It's not going to be done right away. Absolutely. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to vibrate. She feels that. And we come over to the door. We get our treat. Boom. And so we don't necessarily even have to have any sort of words to it. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, you're a good girl. All right. And so I'm going to vibrate and I'm leaving. We're going to go back over here. See how she's trying to beat me to it? Mm-hmm. She'll figure that out real quick. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're... you're just like, what's going on? Why do you keep going back and forth? Sometimes whenever they push in, push, push back. back. And that, that makes a big difference. So if she always thinks that the treat's gonna be way out here, she's gonna keep going here. If all of a sudden she thinks the treat's gonna be way back here, she'll she'll adjust. She'll she yeah, she's aiming for wherever wherever it's gonna be. So if I go to treat her and, and I push it all the way back, and she starts to go, oh, okay, now I'll take the treat way back here. And then you subconsciously fix the problem. You know, now it does I, I like the I like the tactic of you wait until I bring it to you. Yeah. And there's a consequence if you don't. It takes you longer to get the treat if you don't. But um, it, sometimes dogs just do have zero impulse control, and so you have to kind of install something from them for them yeah. by by being a little bit pushy. No. Again. Good if we if we wait for her, if we keep pulling back, then she understands that lunging after it makes it go farther away. Nope. Nope. It's still my fingers. I have a right to these fingers. And with hounds, repetition is the is the key. There you go. Sometimes you got to cheat a little bit for them and help them out so that they can get a couple good repetitions in. Because mm-hmm. if, if it's always negative, always negative, always oh, negative, absolutely. always negative, then they don't actually learn anything. No. It's just as important to tell them what they're doing right as it is what they're doing wrong. In fact, it's probably five times more important. Yeah. So sometimes we take the opportunity to make sure that they get it right a couple times. So no, we're gonna keep doing anyways. we're gonna keep doing this. And now, since I can easily switch between dogs here, I can I can go and I can vibrate one and vibrate the other and then off we go to the house. You know, it's like I love that. Yeah. Right. Then we'll do it again. And hopefully here in just a second, go get him. Go get him. they'll start to understand. Go get him, Lucy. Oh. She gone. Well, she's about to find out that her buddy is getting all the treats. I know. 
<laughs> and her buddy's getting all the treats here because she decided to go on walkabout. <laughs> Who knows where she went? I don't know, you said go get on the I know. I, I met him. Uh, whatever. She thought you meant girl. Mirna, come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Nope. 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 Oh, no. I just see that shit of my hair run into the tree. She's gonna turn around. Come on, Yuna. <laughs> Come on. Come here, girl. Come on, Yuna. As you see, I, and I did just stop her from that. Yeah. No words. She just she went over there to go do her barking thing. Take care. <gasps> and then we went right back to positive. Good. Now, be careful after they've gotten a correction or two is because they will have some frustration in their system, oh, some sort of tension in their system. Yeah. And so be careful with your fingers, but she was a little less <laughs> Girl, I got no just treats. Oh. Oh. Nope. You just give her a second to settle, you know, let her settle herself down. And just yeah, be, be, be mindful about that because she's so, she was amped up. She was kind of running from it, though. She was running to the right because it was shocking her on yeah. the left. Yeah, well, I started her here, and it was on a lower level, and I had to keep going up because, yeah. like, again, they, 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 get, they get into that instinct mode. And when they get into instinct mode, the brain shuts off. Like, the, the, conscious, the, the, the conscious portion of the brain starts to, to work less and less. And that's how they can keep doing hard, laborious tasks, running through the woods, following just a, the, the most minute little scent and everything like that. And then they can do that for an hour and 15 minutes or three hours in a row. <laughs> She's... What are you doing? So let's see if we can, let's see if we can get him to... Was that a vibrate? You Good dogs. Good nope. Girl. Nope. Nope. Goose, come here. Yours is nicely. Nicely, my hand. Hey. Una's so quick to catch on. Yeah, but you saw. Yeah, I saw. That there was absolute recognition. Absolutely. And so it doesn't. When you have the right tool, it doesn't take that long. It's not a. It's not a huge, big process. So, come on. Come on. I mean, girls. They're going around it. Yeah, what a good girl. So she listens to me. She can get her treats, and she can see her getting treats because she's not afraid. You know, even though I didn't give her any sort of correction there, I just gave her vibration. Yep. Now another another good rule of thumb: never a correction on the porch. If right. we can help. It's it. our safe space. It's our safe space. If you're quiet on the porch, you'll be you'll be safe all the time. If you're quiet, though, you word. Unless you're barking on the porch. Right. And so she's getting one now because I actually told her Yuna didn't actually come out into the yard. Mm -hmm. So she didn't get a command. And if you don't get... Then you don't get a treat. Yeah. It's like uh, my, my stepson got uh, got a little... Um, we made a bad conclusion the other day because he went and did some stuff to help his mom and she said that she was going to pay him for it and then he went ahead and did it and then he came back and he was like, oh no, I was thinking that you would give me more money. And I'm like, no, that ain't how it works. It's like, you, you make hay while the sun's shining. You, you, have, you, you, get, you only get paid for what's available. You can't just go do work and then tell people that they have to pay you. It doesn't yeah. work that way. You're on the leash there. Come here. Come here. Good girl, come on. Now Yuna's nervous. So, good girl. Yuna, come here. Good girl, yeah! She's confused. Come here, girl. Yeah, what a good girl. What a good girl. She's so confused because she got shocked in her yard. That's what it is. Huh? She's confused because she got shocked in the yard. Right. Yeah, she's like, did that line move up? <laughs> like, this is supposed to be all my safe place. Go. So. I'm gonna vibrate her. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I don't like that vibration. She's so soft. She is. I'm gonna step out here so she knows it's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. Come on. You can 
can even make getting onto the little platform part of the exercise if you really wanted to. Yeah. Not necessary at all. I would make the porch the, the, the place you need to get to. Absolutely. So I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay her again. Here we go. I'm gonna vibrate. No, nope. oh porch. Yuna. Come on girl. Come on. What is the vibrations? Yuna! Yeah, this is just vibration. <laughs> She's so Thank you. Nope. Yeah, she's she's, Yuna. Being, she's being a big baby. Come here, Yuna. Come here, girl. Oh, this is good. All right, girl. Nicely. Can I go in? I don't like this game. So extra reward here on the porch, you know, and especially if you have a big baby like this, you want to make sure that she. You, we want to compensate if she's having more distress for her. We want to compensate. By being a good girl. When she's in a good state, when she's doing the things that she's supposed to, then we're just going to up the reward. And when the reward gets higher, we're willing to go farther for it. We're willing to put ourselves yeah. in a little bit more discomfort. Um, and it's not that this is hugely discomfort. No, it's a vibrate. It's a vibrate. More, it's a vibrate. I mean, like, it's... She's so girl. soft to vibrate. That's why I'm like, I don't think... Like, but that, I don't think we're going to... When we have those dogs that are super soft, it just gives us the opportunity that we can spend a little bit more time. We can get. We can spend a little bit more time giving them affection. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, come on, Anna. He's a good girl. Come on, Anna. Go. Come here. Now you can also double up on that in the fact that you know no vibrations or corrections happen inside the house at all. Yeah. Unless it's a unless it's a very specific thing. What about the bark? Huh? What about the bark? Well. Well, uh, here's the deal. If, that I would. So, I, would, so, I, would, I, would I guess so, I really don't care if she's barking. Oh, I do. So it the thing about it is, window. the thing about it is, is if the if the that give them extra time out sense. here with that, and if they start realizing that the bark equals correction out here, you're going to get so much of a drop of the bark inside of the house that mm -hmm. you're 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 not really going to lose out on you're a not, whole bunch. Mm -hmm. So. Now and and I don't I, I don't want you to worry about making it just so hard uh, such a hard and fast rule like never a correction in the oh, house absolutely. because if you need to you need to but by and large that's base like you I know wanna, that's a when she goes up for the counter <sighs> like and if we're home do we even act like we see her or do we just act like we don't even see her and as soon as she goes up to that she's counter zap counter surfer oh okay. that's yeah. how she's gotten yeah let's go let's go inside and look at that. He's not gonna do it now. Well, if you put hot dogs on the counter, he's gonna Yeah. <laughs> now you're thinking like a trader. <laughs> right. It's a no. The only people that are possibly even gonna see this are our dog people and understand that it's like we have life. That we're Yeah. We life happens and most of them are also parents as well. So what you could do is so one of the one of the things that I one of the things that I end up doing it, with my houses wherever it happens to be is, is I will make a spot in the kitchen. This line right here is a great line because as far as I'm concerned, there's not really need to be in the there's kitchen. not really any need for a dog to be in yeah. the you know, food preparation portion of the kitchen. So you can you can get even further ahead of that situation and make it to where the dog doesn't ever that they, they get a mild but annoying correction they go over this line in yeah in in yeah if they're in this line so you start that by actually claiming the space with your body anything that's behind me is mine uh, and, and 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 so what i'll do is, is i will make the rule inside of my own mind that if a toenail is over this line i'm stepping in and saying something nope and i'm doing it Preferably right at that moment. Absolutely. What? I'm sorry. Did I bump your nose? And then you can also add to by putting reward whenever they're staying on this side of the wall. Nope. So, so you see, I'm acting very weird right now. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very specifically doing something. And she is a little confused at it. So I can tell her that the right answer is. So I'm giving her a bunch of nonverbal questions. Mm -hmm. Is if I do this, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. If I do this, what are you gonna do? And whenever, and, and so I assume that the conversation's happening. Nope. Nope. Good girl. 
And that's why our markers become very important. It's because right there, I just gave her two no's and a good. And almost nothing happened in between the no and the good. But what did happen is, is her foot moved, moved back over, the, over that line. And even probably her nose, although it's pretty close, mm -hmm. you know, but getting too specific too quick might be a problem. It might not be. Yeah. But, um, so she can learn that if, if I'm across this line, will she identify the humans, that line? Yeah, absolutely. Especially if there's a visible line. Good yeah. girl. And, and this is, drop this, one of those. and this is essentially kind of stay forward. work right here. What are you doing? <gasps> Wait, nope. I just back her up until she's there. I'll go back over here and re-ask the question. What are you doing, girl? Good girl. And then whenever I make the same motions, the same sounds, nope, as I made before, and she handles it differently, then I can come back and say, yes, you did that right. So now we can we can start off before ever act, adding any sort of correction by telling her non-verbally a, a number of times that this space over here is just not for you whatsoever. And so we get to the point later on, once she's understood this. <laughs> good girl. What a good girl. Oh my God, like... Nope. Nope. She's like, Dang. she's like, oh, I don't understand. This is so difficult. Yeah, good girl. We yeah. keep we keep letting we keep letting the situation play. happen over and over again to where I come in here and she doesn't get to follow. And if I and if I come in here, she follows, and I immediately, nope. And you know, you can even address, like if if she comes into the sit and she's sitting here and she goes, mm -hmm. you can correct just the foot, nope, nope, just like that. So if I'm right, nope, good girl. And so I can I can monitor this line, and I can I can be really weird about it. Like nonverbal behaviors mm -hmm. are really strange because. I'm, I'm literally defending a very specific line. And so she only has so many different conclusions that she can make. Eventually she figures out that, oh, nope. Good girl. So you see, as I get a little bit, as she gets a little bit more understanding with it, then I can just start using my signals as opposed to having to come in and actually defend the line. And then that becomes more of a thing. And, and, she, care. and then once she, yeah, once she gets to the point where she understands this, then you can start to correct with the collar instead. And you can play the floor as lava past that line. Mm -hmm. So she comes past that line and it don't matter if you're here or not, nothing. You can do that. Now you could start by doing it that way and she'll figure that out really quick. But this is a little bit kinder way Absolutely. to give her a very specific instruction mm -hmm. and try to spend some time telling her what's right. And not to mention, I'm also rewarding her a bunch when she's doing the right things. Cause it's just as important yeah. to tell them what's right, right as opposed to just correcting them when they're wrong. Cause at this point, I mean, like she got bumped in the nose a couple times by my foot, but she hasn't had any correction whatsoever. Just postural, just mm -hmm. me prevention. You know, me preventing her from doing stuff. And now I get to tell her that she's a good girl. And we get to, and, and then we get to move on. And now after just a short period of time of doing that, nope. Now, nope. would you vibrate in that instant? Nope. No, vibrate means come to the front door. Vibrate is a command. And that's why I... Vibrate and tone never used as warnings. Okay. They're not, they're not, they're not anything prevention. No is the My no is the warning. And that way, because otherwise it's then first it's no, then it's then vibrate, warning, and then it's a tone, and then so that's three warnings that before you. So you get the they're gonna know that right. Yeah, I get that. I can get a couple more in before. Yeah. You know, and that's not what we want. What we want is we want no to be oh, that no that precursor to like something something's listen. happening right now that I don't like if I don't fix myself quick. And that and that's what we want. And when you do that, and you don't give them all of these extra warnings and everything, they change the behavior quicker. You end up correcting them less in the long run. Uh, and because, because if you keep leaving that question in their mind of like maybe I can get away with a little bit of this, yeah. how they and they do more. So no like and then you end up. This is something that we're not going to do with the collar because are you really going to keep that in your hand at all times? And when you're gonna to want to snap her, well, what you what you, be head on the what you do is you're sitting in here in the living room, and you're hanging out, and the collar's laying about somewhere, and you're watching TV, and then all of a sudden you're just like, where is the collar? And then whenever you realize that she's in the kitchen, you just go ahead and correct her. Okay. You, don't, you don't even have to 
No, you don't even have to say thing. thing. Because yeah. it wouldn't, it's not a bad idea whenever we're talking about a spatial area, someplace that we don't want her to ever be in. It's not, so nothing wrong. In there. Nothing wrong with not giving her warnings in that situation. She, she learns. She knows better. She shouldn't be in it. Because if I think that something is going to correct me, like if, like imagine, you know those, um, they, 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 it used to be a practice, I think they've outlawed it by now, but they would have like cameras up in certain areas and if they caught you, if the camera caught you going mm -hmm. too fast or blowing a stoplight or something like yeah. that, then you would get a ticket. Then you would get a ticket in the mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and they, and they would say, "Hey, we have the footage. You have a ticket. It's confirmed. You're going to have to pay it." Then you're just like, "Oh, shoot. I didn't even know. Like I didn't get pulled over. I didn't get the flashing lights. I didn't get right. I didn't have a conversation with an officer or anything like that. I just got corrected." <laughs> <laughs> it just happened automatically, it and in, and they you, they did that a lot in like really, you know, really affluent areas because the you know the people in the area would vote that that was okay because they're mm -hmm. like no this is what we want we would right. we would much rather everybody feel like they don't have any leeway here so that they drive nice and slow and they obey all the rules and we keep our area nice and then so, they outlawed it yeah. right well yeah and then and, okay. and then they they realize that it's not a that it's not. She's Oh, poor baby. <laughs> You're a big baby. She's like, I got zapped in my yard. She's like, I was just trying to That's go over my there. Mom. She's I was like, just trying to go over there and bark at that dog and bite it. <laughs> I know. And She's like, trying to keep him away from you, Can't even Dad. bite the kids anymore, man. Uh -huh, you know? No, there's no more fuss at house. <laughs> right, and, and, and that's, that's, that's kind of the conversation that we're having. What are you doing, baby? She's like, I'm, She's like, I'm hiding She's behind mad. my dad. My dad makes me safe. That's, and that's, that's good. That's, that's good. That's, that's what we want. It's like when you don't know how to deal with something, come over to the, yeah. come over to the humans yeah. because they, they seem to be related to safety. Yeah. And, and, and then once you have that, then the dogs, when they get into a situation that is unfamiliar, they run home. This is what she yeah. does during thunderstorms. Yeah. <laughs> she can't get off. Um, now that's a, that's a conversation that we can talk about is the, the whole, the whole comforting during anxiety thing. What we want to try and keep in mind is physical affection says I like your energy. So her... So if you're anxious, if the dog is anxious like in a thunderstorm and everything and they come over there and they're being all panicky with right. you and you pet that energy you're to calm them down, the dog feels that you are encouraging that energy. Now you might still calm them down, they might give up the energy and sit there and enjoy it, but then they will think that the way that I get this long-term petting situation exactly. is by becoming anxious because they, that's what they assume whenever you touch. Right. So what, what you do is you let them come over and don't touch them. You know, let them come over and if they want to stay in your space. Indiana. <laughs> nope. Oh, he's in there now. <laughs> she still got that. I don't think, I don't think. Oh, she and she got it. Oh, oh. Nope. Don't let Lucy out, Mom. Thank you. What? Nope. Oh, I just said don't let Lucy out. I was going to say I don't let her out. Nope. Down. So, Hi. same situation. We just claim, claim the, the Push guest. Push them back. I know that I'm more of a guest than you are, but, you know, that's no. what I'm saying is we claim the newcomer and say, hey, this is how you have to treat them. When yeah. they come in, I'm defending them. And, and, and now it's not that they're actually trying to attack her. I, I get that. No. <laughs> but what they're doing is, is they are being disrespectful and rude in the situation. And in the animal kingdom, space equals respect. Right. So, so if I require them to give her space, then that becomes starts to become the uh, way that we handle newcomers. So uh, we need to give them space first, and then we so that they can hi. get in the door comfortably, and then they'll come to us when it's time. Come on. Come on. Yeah, here we go. And then that's her buddy. And then <laughs> people get to enter the the enter with a certain amount of space. Yeah. Now that'll eventually that be something that you can do with the kids. Oh, I do that. Too, so Every that the kids day coming in that door, I push them nice. back and back and back and just push nice. them. Right. And so now so whoever comes in has the ability to come over and address the dogs on their terms. And so when she they're put her stuff down and get comfortable whenever they're whenever comfortable and the dogs don't get to go and bombard them. There you go. And then that's, uh, and then that is a much, hey. nope, nope. She's like, my Nana's here to rescue me. I got shot. She's like, I so really I don't like, like this guy. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Hi, you oh. want to come oh. complain? She still she has the bark. her bark collar on. She has her bark on. collar on. So Hi. she does yipe like that. Yeah, he's going to jump her. That, Hi. That's uh, a, yeah. correction. But, hey. 
she'll understand that very shortly. In fact, she basically does. She's just learning the limits of it, like when it's going to go off and when it's not. No. It's okay. <laughs> Poor girl. Yeah, it was rough to watch so, the beginning. Yeah, I know it so is. She really didn't. Yeah, she really. So didn't now, have a good go when at she it. barks, remember how you said you had it on an Escalade? It's okay. Does I like this. Remember how you said I had it? You had I, it don't, on I don't at this point. Okay, now have you it, have it on have a higher it set on, setting. Yeah, it's set on. It's not on the auxiliary. Now it's on a setting. Wait a minute. Let me think different. about this. No, I take that back. When we started, we we had it on a set amount. Yes, and then you changed it. And then I changed it to auxiliary. So what we ought to do now is we ought to take it off of the 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 up. Because the auxiliary, yep, one, it and, goes... And we're going to set it on just a normal level that is probably a little lower than... What it was at. Than what it, than what it made it to. Out. Now, now... How calm they are. He's... Yeah. Now, that, and the good part about that is is because she already knows that this is a factor now, and it became strong enough to where she couldn't say, I, I think maybe I got zapped. I don't know if I did or not. She was like, so she no, I got zapped for sure. And I, and I get zapped whenever I bark, yeah. you know, and that's what the bark collar does. And the good part about it is the bark collar is fair. There's right. no, there's no, there's no, there's no okay. attitude. My anger in the situation does not play oh, any true. factor on whether or not she gets corrected. It is a hundred percent barking mm -hmm. and nothing else. Right. So it's a, it's a, it's an easy puzzle to solve. Consistent. It's consistent. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's an easy puzzle to solve. Not, yeah. And then she can figure out how to control it herself and prevent herself from it. And now she will continue to get excited for the next couple days yeah. and she'll have some mistakes. Absolutely. Um, and, and the collar will remind her that, hey, I still work. You know, this is not, this hasn't gone away. And then after two weeks, she will get so good at it that she Might just doesn't it. make any mistakes. And then it, one day she will make a mistake and she'll go, oh, shoot, I got away with that. Square. And then six months later, it'll get back out of hand and you put it on for another couple of weeks. And But then you have taken 200,000 howly barks out of your life, mm -hmm. which will give you more peace. And whenever you have more peace, we tend to handle the dogs better whenever yes. we are more relaxed in the situation as well. So the same thing is going to happen to a certain degree with her and the kids. You will allow her to be able to get in a little closer proximity we're still not going to take it right up into the middle of it for now mm -hmm. um but you'll you'll have she'll get in a little closer proximity when she sees that frightened kid and it makes her go ah! you know mm -hmm. towards the kid it'll correct her and she'll be like whoa and that'll happen whether you're paying attention or not and so now she will get to the point where she sees the frightened kid and that's something to avoid and stay away as opposed to something to run in and chase away right and same thing with the dogs, same thing with all sorts of stuff. Bark collars are actually a massively good thing for just the... So you're saying that with the barking, it will help correct her from getting away from the kids, or we will be shopping her? What I'm saying is, is if you introduce her in the situation with the bark collar function on, yes. then she will... All, she historically barks whenever she's getting Correct. Yes. whenever she's being improper to the children yes. and so therefore those two things will coincide and therefore mm -hmm. she'll get corrected when for her state of mind and that, that's what really ends up happening okay. is, is the correction corrects the state of mind it corrects her mania mm -hmm. I, didn't get her. I didn't even have to get her she she went over there looked at the line and turned around and came uh -huh. back but you see when you claim something like that yeah. That it, it's powerful. The dog understands what you mean. Right. They, they say, no, these, this area is mine. You can't have it. Now, whenever I leave, you guys will probably have to do this on Correct, your own. Correct, because it's your yeah, space. So that she doesn't think right that now it's your space. It's not my yeah. space. It's like, yeah. I, I, yeah. Like, I get to be so coming rude. in here taking over our house. I get to be so rude all the time. I'm just going to wander in and claim everybody's <laughs> stuff. And mine now, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, so anyway, but... Th that will have its that'll have its drop off. Absolutely. But it it'd probably be three days before it has its drop off because it's that clear. So it's, for them, when you walk out the door, the shock is walking out the door. They, well, they, 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 they right they, now. Right now, it's new. Yes. Right. But still, you're. But it's going that's, to continue though whenever it leaves. Oh, okay. Right. It's well, it's not, so oh, you said you did get your collar. It's charging right by the. Front if it's door. charging already, then we can put your collar on her at least. Cause she's not dealing with the bark at all right no, now. No, and honestly, she's yeah. she's the worst at barking, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely, she's and bad when cars are so, driving by. Mm -hmm. So hers will stay in effect by the time we're, we're out gone. of here. 
Yes. Yeah, I mean, because even if it doesn't get all the way charged on, I would encourage you to just go ahead and put it on. Put it on, and it probably will be. Yeah. If, as you soon as it's glowing green. For Una? Not right now. Una's in. Um, she got shocked in the yard, so she's kind of a little anxious. <laughs> She's pouty. She's pouty. Mm, I don't think she's near as much anxious as she's just having a. She's got a really bad. Yeah, she does. <laughs> it's not fair. It's she came to tell Grandma all about like it. I don't like this guy. He <laughs> makes things different. Yeah. But he does have hot dogs. Yeah, that's hot dogs. <laughs> so he's okay. Yeah. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. And this is this is where we we take the time to her recover her, her good anxious, calm. Yeah. Nice. Yes. We, when we, she's we, we counterbalance the negative with the positive. And now we don't do it in a way of like. Oh, you got corrected. I need to go reward you right away. It's not a frantic thing. It's no. not something that we owe. It's something that we wait for the opportunity to get to do. Once her energy is right and when she's doing the right things, which she's just found out that the way to get away from this correction is to get back to the house. Yeah. So we can eventually have the same situation with her. She's uh, just a little more stuck. Yeah. Well, she's she's a little more motivated is what she is. She's just a braver she wants dog. She the mm -hmm. reward from the So girl. whenever you it comes time for her to go out, I, I, I know it's difficult, but I want you guys to put the feelings aside for a minute I and know. I want you to correct her good outside oh, of the uh, outside of the the boundary and then whenever she gets back in the boundary, she's you just encourage her to you mm -hmm. and say, "Hey, come on." No, well, it wasn't me doing it. Yeah, I'm it's just dangerous out there. Come back home where it's safe, you know. And that's that. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit manipulative, but, but hey, whenever it, hurts. it comes down to it, it's it, it's not is. it's not completely because the, it is dangerous out there. Correct. Because and if she gets happen, out there and she, she gets in highway up and get hit by a car, right? Mm -hmm. She could get hit by a car. She could end up getting involved with a I don't know a raccoon, catch yeah. rabies, oh, you know, right. or, you know, or any other coyotes. A lot of yeah, she, you know, or the neighbor. You know, I mean, we've had I've had uh, my mom. Had had a neighbor shoot her dog. Yep. Uh, you know, and this was her service dog too. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. Ouch. It wasn't in a very official capacity, but it was basically like an, it, it performed the function of an emotional support dog for her mm -hmm. and everything. So, um, um, and really, when it came down to it, it kind of was because it was a mobility, and she had she had to use it to help her get up and everything. And we trained the dog to brace for her so that she could get up. And once that is the case, then it is a service dog, whether or not it's been registered, whether it wears a vest, whether it does any of these different things. Mm -hmm. Americans with Disabilities Act is great, great legislature. Yeah. So, but like I was saying, is we want to watch for the opportunity go, go. to recover the attitude. We get the behavior, and then it gives us another time to say, hey, this is what I wanted from you, and I love you, and I don't hate you. Uh, you I don't have any problem with you. It's just certain behaviors. Absolutely. And that's, the, that's the, the, the honest thing we want to communicate is that I don't, hate, I don't correct dogs. I correct behavior. Mm -hmm. And the dog will figure that out whenever I counterbalance with positivity right next to the negativity is they're like the only thing that happened in between when things were negative and when things were positive is to stop doing this one thing it's yeah. just like teaching kids yeah that, stuff yeah. works great on kids yeah and i can i can vouch for that person I, I used to work at a youth center <laughs> yeah and um and, and the, they don't realize it but i took a bunch of dog training stuff and i yep. quietly applied it to the kids yep. you know well, obviously not shock collars and cages and no, uh, but, the, uh, collars. but the psycho although the psychology, some of them, so, the psychology right the principles of motivation mm -hmm. timing consistency and things of that nature mm -hmm. worked great on the kids and not only did the kids behaviors get substantially better mm -hmm. and all of the rules that i chose to enforce they they, they happily minded, but they also liked me mm -hmm. a lot because I was, because I applied these things. Right. And I've, I've found that I, um, they uh, felt safe in the boundaries. Right. Yeah. And that is what, it, that is one of the things mm -hmm. I, um, okay. you know, it was whenever, uh, you know, if, if something bad was happening, cause they all lived some pretty rough lives. Mm -hmm. They knew that the youth center was safe. And they also knew that if they were out there and some bad things were happening and that I was out, sometimes I was in town, if you just give me a ring and everything, I'll come over there and help you deal with it. And if you're the problem, I'll tell you you're the problem. But if you're not the problem, I'm going to help you deal with it. So you're and, honest too. Yeah. And honesty is, is, is really like I, there's three principles, but really when it comes down to it, the three principles is just so that we can understand how to communicate differently with dogs. Mm -hmm. But honesty is the policy is I, if I don't like the behavior, I'm not going to pretend like I like it. And I'm not going to make it easier for you. I'm going to make sure that it is that, that there is a, a consequence for it, but it needs to be one that is fair, one that you can understand. If you can't understand it, then we get into the realm of abusive. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not that's not cool. Um, but then and and that it happens only when you do it wrong and always when you do it wrong. That way you can figure it out real quick, and then you're just like, 
<laughs> like the one of my examples is, is they running in the youth center was okay? a no go. We can't mm -hmm. we can't do that. And so if I caught kids running, they had to stop where they were at and sit on the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is mm -hmm. ten years old was the youngest kid. So oh, I mean, wow. like we've got teenagers, <laughs> yeah, that, 15, 16 years yeah. old, and that humiliated. are sitting cross-legged in yeah. the middle of the kitchen while their friends yeah. walk by and everything, and yeah. and that was it. And you'd sit there until I remembered to let you up, and that was it. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, it was until I saw them, just like okay, I guess this is what's Calm happening down. now. And they gave in to the situation. They're like, okay, you're good. Mm -hmm. And then and I'm over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm exactly. over it. No more anxiety. They come back in the next time and then I was like, what's up? There you right. come over here and work with me. You mm -hmm. know, come come and be a part of, of what I got going on. And then I would use that situation to where I would make sure to reward them and counterbalance it. Mm -hmm. We do the exact same thing with the dogs and the dogs respond fantastically to it and they love you yes. through the process. So oh. anyway, lots of lots of words. But so we've handled the kitchen. We've handled the barking, Bark. by and large. And we um, got to the door. Right. Back yeah, back. sorry. We know no, how... No, we're the, doing outside, so the patty, getting... Oh, the getting yeah. into the, the door. Oh. Yeah, so what, one of the things that we do is is, is to give them the signal to come to the house, mm -hmm. even if we can't see them. So if they're in the backyard, we vibrate. That means come. And then we call them. Oh. And then they come to the front door. Okay. And when they come to the front door, we got some treat for them or something mm -hmm. like that, some sort of reward. Thank you for doing what I asked. Mm -hmm. And then we do that repetitiously. Mm -hmm. And then the one time whenever she starts to take off right. and she breaks past the barrier, she'll get her normal correction past the barrier. I assume and she it, did it. Huh? We I haven't see. let her off yet. We're no, not yet. First had a contact. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we start by making sure that she has the right answer. So she knows. So what that, to do. so okay. that whenever she does the wrong answer, we can tell her what the right answer is before we even start correcting her, so that she has the maximum amount of chance of avoiding all the corrections. And so if she gets out of the thing and we vibrate and she goes, oh, hot dogs at the porch, here I come. Yeah, exactly. And she turns around and comes back and great, no corrections. She'll take the correction coming back across the wire that she's normally gonna get, but we can't help that right. at this moment. Right. And then she comes back and we say, oh, you're the most wonderful dog in the world. You won the Nobel Peace Prize, I love you. <laughs> and, and then that's great. And then the one time she's gonna get the vibration, she's gonna be like, nah. This trail is pretty interesting. I'm going to check it out first. And then mm -hmm. 20 seconds is 20, 30 seconds is going to go by after the vibration. And we call her and she says, nope, not coming and everything. And then the correction is going to start to happen. And she's going to go, oh, holy cow, this, this is not good. And yeah. she's going to start moving. And we don't stop correcting her until we can see her coming to us. Right? So the farther away she is, the more correction she has to take on the way back. So at the very least, what that does is it says, if I get outside of this barrier, I need to make sure that I don't get too far. Because I got 30 seconds to get back in, and if I'm not if I'm not 30 if I'm not more than 30 seconds away, then I can get back before it's time. So and you're so now eventually, stop correcting her when she's when you can see her moving towards you, okay. when she's running back towards the house as fast as she can get, and you can tell that that's happening. Okay. And and if I could see 200 yards, mm -hmm. and I, and I could see her moving back, then that's fine. Right. But we don't have that lu we don't no, have that luxury at this point in time. But basically, when she gets past the into the driveway area mm -hmm. so a, you 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 set the amount of time that you add as your leeway i mean it can be whatever you determine depends on how far you want in her i don't want her going far right so you could make it vibrate one two three four five correct you know you could do five seconds i did 30 on a 90 acre farm and i could but i could so see you yeah you can't see for a long distance and so if if they were outside of that they were plenty far gone and I still did 30 seconds just because it was well and also because I was developing this process you know this is the this is something that I that I figured out on my own this is how to make this thing work as you know to keep them to keep them close and sometimes they would if they were too far out one direction everything it'd take them a little bit but really when it comes down to it you get to set the level of what you're willing to tolerate and the vibrate is is the grace that you're giving them is like hey this is I'm letting you know that I want you to come back, you know, and you, you might end up finding out that she ends up barking to let you know that she's coming back. And she'll take a <laughs> correction to, so that you don't you know. get the bigger corrections on the way. She's like, hey, no, I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that that would be the case, but um, it's a possibility. On our old set that we had with our dachshund, who was really stubborn, and she would always go to, the, we had a beep. 
Mm -hmm. And she knew if she kept going on past the beep, she'd get shocked. Mm -hmm. So she had wore a perimeter around the house mm -hmm. where she would just beep, 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 and she would wear the battery down by letting mm -hmm. it beep. So on the vibration, is she fine or will it still eventually correct her? No, it's we all are correcting her. Oh. Yeah, we are correcting her. Okay, so this is an addition to so the she's boundaries. Have her yeah, boundary right. Oh. So if it comes down to the fact that the boundary collar runs out entirely. Right. We actually don't even have it on her. Since your last visit, we uh -huh. kept her on the tie up 100 percent because okay. she she's gone. Is gone now. Like she used to not do it as frequently, mm -hmm. but now every time you let her out, she's gone. And she goes What's... to Tucker. She loves that dog. Uh, so I've that's seen her going to those you have. She's been there. Oh, that going to the oh, so she goes anywhere. But I followed her you... back behind that house over there, and too. And that's where okay. the dog is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she came up to the bus stop while I was waiting for the kids. The oh, wow. So she's just... She's gone. She yeah. goes wherever. Yeah. I've seen her go over there. <laughs> okay. see, make sure she goes wherever her nose collar. wants her to go. Okay. Uh, so I can put so on her perimeter collar. The Fruit Loops dog. Right. Right, and so that's the other good thing is, is this thing this thing needs to be fairly tight, but it, you can set it up high. Yeah. In fact, it's probably take it off. It, the higher up you put it, because here's it, well, most dogs' necks are trapezoidal in nature, mm -hmm. so they they get wider as you get to the base. And mm -hmm. both of these girls are are not much, but a little bit. And so the higher up you put it, and if you tighten it on properly, it if it settles down, it actually gets tighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can tighten it to the point where it won't settle down all the way down to where she's where having she's irritation. Having irritation. And then the good news will be is that I mean, once she starts realizing that this is the case and that she can't run away from the correction, yeah. that there's no run, there's no amount that she can run away that will get her out of the correction. Well, there is, but she hopefully won't make it that far. Yeah. That'll be one of those things that is up to us. Uh, I can plus. go up there. It's 404. Okay. Yeah. Unless so, to. so that before before you go, that's that's what I just want to get this. That's why it's up to us that we will continue to use the tie out when we can't monitor it. Correct. But we let her out. If we want to let well, her out for five or ten minutes, then because I go out she's there not getting three quarters of a mile away in five minutes. Because usually they like to go outside when I go out on the front porch and smoke. So I'm going to be mm -hmm. probably mainly in charge of that. So, um, since she's still got battery, um, I'd say that it wouldn't be a bad idea for us right to go back. ahead and go out and say, do that. I'll go if you want to listen so, more. Speaking of battery, how are if we I doing on the top, on the camera? I'm off. It's getting to be that. 35%, boss. Do you Great wanna, you success. Wanna ahead and, you want to do a cut scene right here and, uh, and take a break and then we can, uh, and then. <laughs> did you cut do? it out. Cut it out. <laughs> and then. Good girl. Alright, you vibrate? Come on. So you're leaving ahead of me to the to the to the porch? Mm -hmm. Una goes, I don't even want a hot dog. You don't want no hot dog. You notice that she's she doesn't wanna she doesn't wanna go. Mm -hmm. Now they'll they'll start getting a little braver and everything. Come here! Because right wow. now she knows that if she goes so to the house, she gets a hot dog. I can, I can even bribe her out this direction. Okay. We can walk around and we can show her that all of this is fine. And then as soon as she decides that she's done, and she's gone somewhere else. Come on. Good girl. So that was vibration. Come on. Go to the porch. Come on. Yeah. Oh, she's so happy. Good girl. All right. She hasn't ran in a while. She hasn't ran. She needs it. Good girl, all right. <laughs> I've even felt bad for her. I take her on extra car rides. All right. That's good. She's like, do you have hot dogs too? No. So now, as she gets a little braver and she wants to go sniff around, that's good. And then we can continue to vibrate. And the good part about it is, is she never gets to the point. That she breaks the boundary. Then she might not need that correction today. Yeah, yeah, and, and and that's that's where that's where we want to be careful to so not. I do kind of eventually want to put that collar on because that at least gives her her beeping warning too. Yeah. The other one. The the beeping warning. Perimeter. The like our actual you can. fence. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with. And the thing about it is, is the perimeter fence will will eventually. She'll start just minding that all together because she knows that, especially when I get past it, it gets even worse. Yeah. Right. And that doesn't happen in the yard. 
You know, the only oh, time it happens in the yard is when I bark, and right. it's not the same correction. No, it's a I lesser don't. correction when I bark. Yeah, because she don't like it. Good girl, that's good. That was just, that was just the vibration. She was out there doing something. I vibrated. Come on, let's go. I let her do her thing, and whenever she gets to the point, look, she's going to that other place where I hit the vibration, so that to see if I'll do it. She's trying to tell me to vibrate it so that she can so run I back can to the come porch. Get my hot dog. That's how the consistent. Now she goes back to the porch okay. without the vibrate. Then you don't give her a treat. She then and she doesn't get one. It's all it, it's <laughs> it's only available. You make hay when the sun shines. Okay. If the work becomes available because the vibration happens, you work. You go to the porch, and and then you get your reward. And you will always, well, you won't always get your reward, but in the beginning, okay. you will always get your reward because you don't want to have to have rewards all okay, the time. The kids are here. No. Now she's. How how are we doing with her and the kids? Um, the kids haven't been over. Okay. So uh, so the, the your kids obviously are My kids are, are fine. Mm -hmm. no. There's not there's not. going but but she's like no come faster because I know what happens I when I get here. Yeah. Oh why is daddy carrying all your good <laughs> no, okay. there's more kids out there. Yeah, there's more kids. Now if she decides to get if she decides to get into the state of mind to go chase the thing, then I'm going to correct her. But if she normally she would run right up there and park at it. Right, well she said she had first experience of running and barking at things over there was bad and so now she can generalize that. Good look at it. <laughs> you know, So she's hesitating on it. She's like, well, maybe I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. Because when you correct, when you correct the dog, you have to line. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come on. Nope. She hasn't been free in a while. It might be worth it. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. Nope. Just vibrate. Now, did you well, she do hasn't more done, than, she hasn't gotten past the boundary yet. Did now. you do more than one? Yeah. Yeah, I did a couple, couple, a couple over there and a couple over there. Like when you see her trying to get sidetracked, like well, she started sniffing at that other thing, and you, I could tell you vibrate her again because it caught her attention again. Right. And so what, what was happening is she was getting into hound mode. And hound mode is like the brain turns off, and if I just keep running, then then it'll go away. And that's what that's the same mode she got in whenever she was one, running around. And she got to the point she where she's like, I'm not really thinking anymore. I just I'm, know that that over there makes me stop, and so I'm going to move this way. And so she would continue to run away from me but whenever I can continue to add the vibration as a command not as a correction but as a command while she still hasn't done anything wrong yet catches her attention so and it just lets her know that the, the, the treat is still here and it's not that I'm correcting you for not coming immediately as soon as I vibrate it that can come later but for right now it's just the treat is here and then she comes back here and I pay her and then there we go and so we still haven't corrected her once yet and that's and that's where it comes down to it. But she'll eventually get to the point where she's just like, I don't care. screw it, I'm going. 
And then when she does, we don't really have a whole lot of mercy on her. No. And then she comes back, and then we just go, yeah, you came back! And then she comes in, and she's like, oh, man, this, this place is safe. Let me just stay nestled in right yeah. here. And then, and then life, yeah, life will stay good. And then it doesn't continue. Is it Tucker? It doesn't continue forever, you know? Mm -hmm. And it'll be the same thing with the bar collar. Is just the perimeter thing will work for a while. And then one of these days, a little while forward, you'll give her a little more slack, and she'll say, Nah, I'm gonna go, and she's gonna go, and then you just make sure that the same thing happens again, and then after that happens two or three or four times that are not right next to each other, then she'll get to the point where she's like, "This is just this the way life is." Now. Yeah, this is just the way life is. These are the new rules, mm -hmm. and 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 so if I just follow the new rules, then I get I get to keep myself safe, yeah. and that's the way that they think about it, because animals don't think about, you know, it's like like some sort of an an oppressive. Uh, governmental control or things like that they just think Fashion. when i do when i do this life turns out poorly for me if i can if i can not do that thing then life doesn't turn out poorly for me and i'm protecting myself by creating my own rules and following them and so she's thinking that she's following her own rules more so than she thinks that she's following ours uh and and, and she's just keeping herself safe what are you doing girl our whiskey barrel yeah. You don't weigh as much as a whiskey barrel. I know. No. I used to stack them for a living. This place, this place out in Cuba that I worked at, and they, they, and of course, being six foot four, I start working there, and they're just like, oh, you're going to stack barrels. And I'm just like, all right, fine. Ooh, and everything, 150 pounds a piece, empty. And um, we had to stack them three high in a trailer, probably about as high as this roof right here, and there was only that much room at the top and so when you got that, that, last one in, right. that third one in first of all you have to lift it 150 pounds and up, hold it straight balance it and then you had to like up and slide it in you know and like pushing anything is 150 pounds above your head above your head is too much to do anyway and i'm telling you what because the only way you can get them lifted up is just you have to use your entire body with it nope 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 that's nope. Typically. That's their that's line still. Their line. That's their line. Come here. Come here. Good dog. The Three reason that I corrected both of them was because of the state of mind. When they feel these corrections, most of the time, like naturally, like if it was the first time they'd happen, what they're going to assume more than anything is that I'm being corrected for my state of mind. Same way as when you pet them, they feel like you're being pet for their state of mind. And so in that situation, when danger, you know, because they get over there and they end up getting in a fight. And I know that you guys probably know your neighbor's dogs better than I do and I didn't want to take the extra chance. But yeah. if they get to the point where they are getting into that state of mind of like, I'm just gonna run and go after whatever this happens to be, you know, regardless no. of how no. it's gonna turn out, which no, is a pound on. mindset, I corrected them for it, and I continue you know, to correct them until you know, they started on. coming back. And now, they you know, the on. next time that state of mind comes, the, 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 the stress that. hormone will kick in, they'll go, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't do that. And then they won't do it, and no correction will happen. They'll be like, oh, I can control by staying out of this state of mind. And because that's really the biggest no. battle that we're fighting is the state of mind. And you can see that, yeah, even though she's she's having a, she's having herself a little, uh, well, well it's, it's not damage. She's just, she's, she's just like, I want to get to a place where I feel like I'm safe. And we just, in my den. we just let safe be with us. Safe is on the porch. And she'll get to the point where she'll get corrected for certain things, and then she can come back to the porch, and it's always fine on the porch. Mm -hmm. And then safe. this will be a good enough safe spot. And then that will give her the opportunity to be brave. If we let her retreat all the way into a hole every single time, then her anxiety will stay high. Because then she feels like she's fixing her anxiety by retreating all the way into a hole. It's the same thing that agoraphobics do whenever they get to the point where they go out into a place, and they get stressed out, and they start to have a panic attack about it. They never go back to that place, and then... They're 
their anxiety stops. So the brain, the brain hears, I got stressed and it saved my life. We can't let her feel like her stress is saving her life. Mm -hmm. And so if we let her go all the way in. in and fix it for herself, then that's fine. That's the same reason why I didn't, you know, wh why I continued to pull her out of the tree is I didn't want her to think that if she just hit underneath the tree, yeah. that that's fixing so it. So did you shock her under the tree too, or were you I shocked her while she her? Conti was continuing to be interested in that thing over there. And, and, I, and I stepped it up a little bit until it actually worked. And then as soon as it worked, then I let it go. And we're, no, we're not doing it anymore. So whenever she was hiding underneath the you tree, she wasn't. Her. She, I was just encouraging her to come back. And that's why you noticed that my tone of voice was like, all right, come on, girl. You're like, we can do this. Let's go. And then she says, then she came out. And whenever she did, I praised her like nobody's business. What are you doing, bro? Come here. You want a hot dog? So. Say hi. In the in opposition uh, to what physical affection does, you know, you know. There you go. Get the nose. Nose helps turn stress off. And when we need to create a positive association, we need to recover an attitude. Very often, food will do that. So the food causes dopamine, and dopamine will either help teach an action like a behavior or it will yeah. add a po add positivity to a situation that they don't feel is possible and so if we can recover we can recover the attitude so i can even push her out of the situation a little bit get her to back up and be a little bit braver and then reward her for being a little bit braver yeah you you, you just make this look so horrible don't you mm -hmm. You, you're done. You're not going to outsmart me. So, for now, I, for now, I, I don't know that I would... If, if this is where she yeah, she stops... Nope. 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 So we can correct that, just that behavior. Like she can stay over here and be next to the door and that's fine. Nope. Every time she does the action, I step in and prevent. And if that is enough, you know, just the repetition of doing that two or three or four times till it becomes annoying and she'll, you know, she eventually stops being there. I don't care that she's over here. I don't even care that she really wants to be in. But I just care not. that she is, that she's banging. Nope. She will scratch on the window. Hey. <laughs> she will scratch. Is that a uh, delivery person or something? Yeah. Usually she's up there, but... Okay. Yeah. Well, let's, let's all walk up there. And see the delivery person. guy's going to be like, what's up? Yeah. See the delivery person, and then whenever, <laughs> if she decides to be silly about it. They won't come to the door if we're out here. Right. Yeah, they haven't realized that she has a... We need to build a little Amazon box right here underneath the cedar tree for real. Please, at all Amazon deliveries right here. Nope. Nope. So I didn't do anything there. I didn't. I didn't do anything there. I just told her no. And she stopped. Like, Damn. Yeah. This guy don't play. Well, but then and that's the good part about it is, is like for a second you don't play, and then the message gets through, and then they don't offend. And then, so it actually ends up saving them correction in the long run. Is by it's whenever we, whenever we um, see she's about to go back. She's go about, about to go back to safety. Um, wh whenever we give her too much, give them too much slack and fix it for them, then then it makes it a harder puzzle for them to solve, and they they literally get to the point where they can't. She's 
was like under so much distress that she didn't even know. No, nah, the bar collar's off now. Oh, how'd you turn it? Oh, from when you were. Yeah, whenever we went to, whenever we went to go use it as a regular collar, yeah, it was really broken off. I'm pretty sure. To be perfectly honest, I haven't really like looked at it to I the point. I can't read the manual. I was trying to read it. I don't think that you can rely on it because I, I did notice that we used it as a regular collar. You don't, dude. Well, you know what? No, we hadn't actually corrected her with a regular correction. She'd no, only we been, haven't. We'd only been corrected. Come on, girl. Oh, were you doing that when, I guess, yeah, when she was leaving the yard? Right. And that was the first time that she had actually gotten a correction from, from me pressing the button. Mm -hmm. And so when it, she started barking again and then the thing, then I turned it back on and now it's back on. Now it's back on. So I'm actually going to turn it back down. I put it on on five. I want it on four. I can put those in the garage for now. But, so that's, that's where, that, that's the usage for these things. As long as she's not banging on the door, I don't see any problem with her going yeah. back in. Which she did it when I was over there, so I'm coming over here to get it the next one and she does it. Well, she's waiting patiently at this point, so if you want to let her in, she's perfectly fine. I just don't want her to say, you better let she's me in. She's the boss. Yeah, you just don't want her to be the boss. So sco scoop her out of the door and make her back up a little oh, bit. Oh, I, well, I got her trained to where that tile threshold, uh -huh. if I'm letting you out, you better sit down behind that Good. until I let you out. Mm -hmm. Back. I say it a lot. You know, it just sit right there. So, Actually, she sits way better and can hold a lot more patient. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, I need to get out. I need to get out. That's because that's she's a driver. And the though. second she's I touch the door something. handle, you know, like right there. I'm like, no, 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 back. Wait till I free you. Yeah, she's working for something. She tends to be driven towards, and she's self soothing. Yeah. Because yeah. that's that's the, the self-soothing soothing behavior is whenever she's trying to get inside the house, she's trying to self-soothe. Yeah. Whenever she gets behind him on the couch, she's trying to self-soothe. Self she's trying to go Herself and... Down. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of almost an addict personality type of deal. Oh, yeah. And because those same things exist in the dogs, they are just the internal chemicals. Because most of the, the things that we, that, that we get addicted to are external, but they're really just activating really? internal yeah. brain chemicals in an... In an abnormal way which feels different and sometimes good for us and then we we repeat those things over and over again to to make sure but so she's actually trying to work towards something and she's trying to self-soothe and those are kind of two opposite personality things and that's why you get uh, quite a bit different behavior from her yeah. and it, it also gives her the capacity to where she's just like no I, I realize that I only get this if I do this right you know, it's like, we don't get to go outside until I sit here. And so I will sit here and wait because I know how to get what I want. Yes. And I, I'm willing to put myself to the pressure she, in order to get what I want. She bosses me around in the morning. So she knows that when you wake up, it's the morning time to feed. And she right. will bark and bark and bark and bark and bark. Not no more. <laughs> <laughs> because it's no, morning time. It's time to <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Get up she and, might bark and bark, but she's not going to get the... <laughs> What, yeah, like so what you can as soon as I get up, yeah. she's like, oh, it's, it's time, time to eat. Yeah. So what you might do is you might uh, take, mm -hmm. you might do your charging, like at, what, what time of day do you feed them? Um, at the morning and then in, around this time. Okay. Is you might end up, uh, you might end up charging the collar sometime whenever you're going to be around and it's just post feeding. Cause usually when you feed a dog, they tend to get a little bit tired and they'll sit and relax for a little mm -hmm. bit. Cause brain satisfied they've got the potty in they've yeah. got food in their belly but it's not ready to come out yet all is well all in the good, world yeah. and so you go ahead and take that time to charge the collar yeah. or you could do it at night mm -hmm. i personally charge mine at night i plug them in when i go to yeah, bed i get up and then i can put it on her in the morning i can put it on her on the morning before i leave that way when you wake up it's already there, and she's gonna get corrected when she bars. If that if that's a good two-hour window that does that, that'd be probably be even better for the batteries. So, um, and then uh, whenever if if she gets up and she wakes up and starts the day by trying to get your attention and barking and everything like that, mm -hmm. it's, it's a bummer. But get up, go get the collar, turn the collar on, put her on her, and set it on bar collar, which you yeah. can actually do from the collar too. Even if you haven't, if you're groggy in the morning, you haven't found the remote yet. If you just press the collar yeah. until it turns blue, she doesn't start bothering then it's a, me until I call upstairs. If you if you press the button on the bottom of the collar and watch for the light to turn blue, then yeah, that, that, that that's bark collar. Okay. Well, it's it's specifically bark. For barking. Yeah. 
So you can turn it on from there or you can turn it on from there. And I believe it will go with the last mode, but either mode is better than nothing. Absolutely. You know, and so if she, then then at that point, if she starts barking and everything, they'll start to correct her. And then she'll be like, oh, shoot, if I start barking, they'll put the collar on quicker. Mm hmm and then she'll understand. then she'll 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 coincide the two right and 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 that won't be a bad thing at all mm -mm. so cool well i guess that's probably enough for today no um right. i would Absolutely. go ahead and get her collar on let's make sure that it works you can probably cut the bead on this one 